Namaste, Monarch Mass Resta. Uh, I did my schooling, middle colleges, high school, the Kilera bachelor's from uh, Nepal itself. A bachelor's level Mase, I did bachelor's in business administration. My major was finance and my minor was marketing. Um, bachelor's Karda Gorde, I uh, did uh, beauty pageants as well. But before that, nay, at the age of 16, I started working as a media personality, as a VJ in Image Channel. So I was a VJ TV presenter for six years. Um, after four years, I was promoted as a producer as well. So I've had uh, quite an uh, experience uh, working in television as well. This was she say, I did uh, modeling. Uh, uh, I did more international pageants. Uh, to talk about the achievements, I would uh, say Miss Earth back in 2012. They had my top eight summer and I became the first Nepali to reach in the finals of any international beauty pageant. After that, 2016 ma, I did um, World Miss University China ma boy This ma say there were about 70 contestants and I was the third runner up there. This was I also did uh, Miss Echo Universe. In 2016, again in Egypt, I won the uh, best uh, uh, tourism video of the year award. And after that, 2017, Mazay, I became the first Nepali to represent Nepal in Miss Universe pageant. After completing Miss Universe, I decided to change a little bit, uh, uh, a bit of a direction in my life. So I chose real estate. Uh, they, well, uh, I say I also did some real estate course in Nepal. Brihat uh, le organized gone boy Rima course. After that, say more, I decided to go to New York, and I pursued real estate in New York as well. So New York, I say there was a process to enter into real estate. So I did my real estate course in New York University. After that, I took up the. Uh, government examination. Uh, thankfully, I passed in my first go and then I got my real estate license as I worked with a company there named Triple Mint. When I was a little kid, I was shy, I was shy, I was shy, I was group of people was shy, I was shy, I was really hesitant. But beauty pageant, my first beauty pageant in 2008, I was the college ambassador. I what is beauty pageant monitor because beauty pageant must say the trainers they don't just train you to teach you how to walk and how to sit and how to do your makeup and hair but they train you how to communicate with people as well so that really uh, added a lot of value in my life so 2008 beauty pageant I just fell in love with pageants. So I wanted to do more pageants and in 2009 I won Miss College. This was she, I did Miss Nepal 2012 and then there was no looking back. I went to US 2016 and I had an opportunity to meet a, um, a Nepali uh, uh, real estate agent. So I learned so many things. So because of him, I think I got inspired and then I uh, Real estate because it's the reality shows or when it's how I think you should watch it one and when here they get their shows are and that really gave me an idea about Costa Rica the real estate one era Nepal because I'm not here idea Athena but I used to watch real estate of uh, the US uh, LA my boy go New York go in so that really inspired me to uh, pursue real estate because I thought that resonated with my personality. Uh, being a beauty queen, I did have opportunities of modeling, endorsements and everything. But then I wanted a bit of a change in my life and I knew that I should not limit myself to just being a beauty queen and a model. And that is why I chose to go for real estate. New York, ma, um, in order to get a real estate license, you had to go through a different levels. So the first step was to get real estate course. So real estate course I online colleges or money and I decided to go through a traditional means. That is why I to say New York University Masai real estate course or provide So I signed up for that and it was uh the hours but it was a really well put course. I would say there was 
uh, one book that we had to carry and uh, real estate ko lagi say era professor pani hununthyo uh, so she taught us everything jati sakno hunthe teti samay ma and uh, after that course say hamile New York University ke ma chai era examination dinu parthyo examination ma pass bhai sake pachi matra we could get a chit ani tyo chit pada chai we had to go for the government examination so that is what i did first step say ani i think i learned a lot of things ani uh, just to because um, flashback boy ra samara chai na i had kati um, jana thyo i think 30 to 40 students in one class and it has a sub pe sana they were from new york and i was the only international student manum na tya chai and i was very new to new york as well and kai ne kai sa professor le hamle sikaunda khere chai you know there's this um, there's this lane in manhattan midtown and there's this really tiny house i hope you guys have seen that and everybody was would be like yes yes tha cha tha cha and i was like okay i don't know i have to google it so it was a really interesting course for me but uh, uh i was so dedicated to it and I, i did my research and i actually found out the place that my professor told me okay so for me it was a great learning experience and i think this should happen in nepal as well after my course uh after i got um i passed the government um test obviously i had a good amount of 2 to 3 months time to choose kata garni bhanera so i actually looked into a lot of real estate companies so finally i got connected to a uh, triple mint money agency that say um we had to go through a training training phase say was for one and a half weeks and this was is a license uh newcomers or like say the first step was always for rentals so it was not for car sale or any na rent or go by the start with so we used to go out with our clients to uh, the areas that they chose and that's how i worked as well suru maze and this was she house or maze i didn't go to that to level some no book day i came back to nepal but i did go to a lot of open houses and i did have a great time on santa uh, interacting with the buyers and all so yeah i will say i think nepal ma uh, uh, i've seen a lot of changes once you know people actually respect this profession just the feel once mala pehla say people used to be like uh, uh it's just uh, something that once and any random guy would do it whenever any they never thought it as a profession but only i see people who are once any well dressed and actually goes out there as a broker and tries to do their thing so it has improved tar ajab pan kai had sama se improvement chai cha ne like maine agi bhaneko jastai new york ma garda kheri chai system thyo yo ta hai na um even though i was a newcomer it was easy for me to learn in a foreign land how their market worked panera nepal ma pani i think there needs to be some sort of a system and i'm sure there has been new policies that is coming up uh, in favor of uh, real estate agents so i'm looking forward to that actually just in my new york ma course kare this was the government exam de this was my my license gain kare this was i took my job there should be some sort of a step so that um, people who start up in real estate as a profession professionals they are more clear about where they are going as well and real estate one ko once and it's such a a dignified job just like that it's such a dignified profession just like that because uh you are your own boss once and it's up to you to do anything and real estate ma there is money as well if you are dedicated to do it i know you can earn a lot afai alchi bhayo bhane cha te arko kura bhayo na tara the one who are once and the committed to really really doing a lot in real estate area can earn a lot and yeah it's possible in nepal as well real estate in nepal is already good um i think it just needs a lot of uh, more um marketing mana pani educating the people okay uh, in nepal that uh, even uh, when i did my course in nepal you know, i didn't know nepal ma esto course pani hudo raisa bhanera and maile kati dere kura haru sike ke so I came to know about this course from a fellow real estate agent nai from Nepal. So iste tarika le sa I think marketing pani garnu paryo and education huncha ni 
because school level ma parda kiri nobody uh, dreams of becoming a real estate agent okay? why because thani chaina ke esto pani profession cha bhanera because uh, i mean school ma hunda kiri pani the only professions that we knew was doctor banni ki engineer banni ki yo banni ki tyo banni huncha ni pilot banni ki nurse banni teti matre thyo ke because that was the popular ones and that was the professions that was marketed so well okay the real estate ma huncha ni ta Uh, to become a doctor you know with all due respect uh, you have to study for like 6 7 years or 8 years and then you can you know then start your clinic and become a doctor but to become a real estate agent i think the process is much more shorter obviously you have to give your 100% but uh, it's more fulfilling because if you give your 100% you get the 100% back as well so i think uh, the uh, my answer for this would be education Yes, educating people. I think you change, Leona. It will take some time, you know, because you it was inbuilt in the uh, consumer side since the very beginning. Eh? So uh, uh, it's like any stereotypical society of the society. Okay, like on Santa, chori boy, pachi, you have to go and get married. Then you have to have kids. One is the society. Okay, you know, but I think my next goal is so I've been doing through a local dalal, so I have to go through them. You professionals are okay, but it's the same process. One is so it will. certainly take time but i think changes will happen one step at a time that's how i think so i lupani amle you interview got ra sa maina this is going this message is going out in youtube and to a certain mass so you bada pani i think it's our hamro sanu prayaso to let people know that what the system is and how you should hunsani approach the real estate market banera so change will happen slowly and steadily Uh, all of a sudden say definitely not but to the consumers out there as well i would also suggest you and sunny don't blindly follow everybody a philippine afna tarfa by the research corner wala if you are buying a property then look at the and the market uh, consult with professionals don't go with anybody and everybody so because you are spending your money or uh, you are getting some money so you have to do your own Uh, research as well because when i used to work in new york i know what i really was impressed with was when i used to uh, go out with my clients i know the clients used to know more okay so i had to study even more because they would ask any question and every question because everything was available for them as well to see so i think uh, as a consumer as a conscious consumer you have to do your research as well before once and jumping into anything first of all uh, what i would like to tell all the youth is sunsani uh, go for what you are passionate about samaj le athwa family le yo bana tyo bana bhandai ma tesma stick huna jaruri chaina real estate bhaneko chai yo ra esto profession ho ja chai you learn a lot of things and like i already said you are your own boss and jun pani career garda kheri the uh, major objective of everyone is to earn money and there is money if you work hard in real estate as well okay so positively lino wala and uh, it's a great profession so i would just um, encourage you to uh, watch a lot of uh, real estate related documentaries real estate related uh, reality shows this matter pan you learn a lot of things and uh, i was once a real estate agent and i was super proud to say myself as a real estate agent when i used to be in the us i mean as a special agents for a bante ge and that really <laughs> motivated me so much so uh, if you are interested go ahead and become the special agents of your life i love real estate right now i am a bit occupied with miss universe nepal but i do want to continue real estate as well in nepal itself uh, us ma chai aba license lera feri there's another process and everything but now i see myself more based in nepal so i would definitely want to indulge and involve myself in uh, real estate and uh, i've had some uh, experiences in real estate so mere experience bara pani if i can uh, contribute to the real estate market in nepal then i would definitely uh be willing to do that that's where i see myself and i support it so much i think nepal ma pani real estate like next level ma log ni ho bane there should be government support as well government uh, when i took my real estate license i was certified by the government as a real estate agent nepal ma this the provision aile samma chaina so i think the government really needs to encourage uh, having this sort of a provision for real estate agent as well so that uh, 
uh, real estate agent boy, but she there also like, hey, okay, the government is watching us and we have to be liable towards this particular job on our own, sir. And when I used to work in uh, New York as well, as a real estate a agent, we had to follow so many rules. Okay? One particular rule was I was just limited to uh, using my license or my expertise in New York area. If I had to go beyond New York, or like if, uh, like say, if I had to go to DC, I had to take up another sort of examination. And this was she government lay okay bani, but she matre mali gona paunte. So as uh, from government side, obviously simplify kar din paori process ani yota recognition din paori bani. It's an encouragement. And from <coughs> real estate agent side as well, you really need to be disciplined and you have to follow and abide by the rules that government has set you. Nepal ma se there is a gap between. That. So that's why there are agents who does anything and everything in Nepal. But I think if there is a rule, then I think more youths will be encouraged to get into that rule or system of real estate.